very hard this morning, which led to several water rescues and lots of flooding. And it's not over yet. Thank you for watching News 4 San Antonio at noon. I'm David Chancellor. Donna Rocco is off today. Uh, we're going to go straight to uh, Jeanette Calle. Find out, uh, you can see behind you right there, the radar is just popping right now. Yeah, not as heavy as it was earlier this morning. And uh, we saw over two or three inches of rain fall on the north side of town, including northeastern parts of uh, Bear County. There was a flash flood warning because of that. Now that warning has expired. However, don't let your guard down. There are still plenty of areas with high water, ponding of water and some roads. Again, the rain is not quite as heavy at this noon hour, but it's still raining, especially over the northern and northwestern part of San Antonio and Bear County. We're seeing light rain from uh, just west of Timberwood Park to the Dominion, Scenic Oaks, Fair Oaks Ranch, Holotus, Leon Valley, even down towards Von Orme. Uh, the rain will be on and off uh, throughout the remainder of the day. You just want to be careful. Have that wet weather gear handy and uh, pack the patience because you will encounter some wet roads throughout the rest of the day. I do expect an increase in more showers and thunderstorms this afternoon, perhaps into the evening. To our west, we're also still seeing rain. There is a flash flood watch that continues until this evening for our western areas. Those areas have picked up over three inches of rain uh, since Sunday. Still raining in those spots right now. There's a storm system that's sitting off the coast. Counterclockwise clockwise circulation around that is bringing in a lot of Gulf moisture, so the air is extremely saturated. Light rain also up across Comal County into Kendall County and eastern uh, Kerr County. More showers are moving towards the eastern zone, and that's the shower activity that will be moving westward towards San Antonio this afternoon. So again, still pretty wet out there. Rain chances, though, will decrease starting tomorrow. Highs this afternoon in the 80s. We may top out only at 83 degrees here in San Antonio. Uh, we'll check out your forecast for the rest of the week coming up. All right, uh, Jeanette, thank you. The school drop off was a mess. School pickup probably uh, not much better. As we all know, when it rains hard and fast here in San Antonio and Bear County, flooding happens in a hurry. This is a live picture right now. The Bear County flood map right now, more than a dozen. Uh, low water crossings across the county that are closed. Those are those red dots you see there on the map. Now, this should be getting better, obviously, as the day goes on, as Jeanette talked about, as the water, uh, weather starts to lighten up. But we'll stay on top of this. We'll keep watching it for you. And even if a road is not blocked, it is always best to stay and play it safe and avoid any sort of standing water there or a low water crossing. Fortunately, was no signs nowhere. And that's what I decided, you know, maybe it's not too deep. But by choice for me. Well, that's what many drivers experience today. There is plenty of flooding issues along the highways. 35, 410 over on the northeast side. Big problems there as well. News Force Christina De Leon has more on those wet conditions. Yeah, good afternoon, David. Good afternoon, everyone. I want to show you what it looks like here. We are at that interchange, Loop 410 and 35, and you can see police still here on the roadways as they try to make sure that this is just going to be open and back available to traffic. The water receding significantly, which is great news here. We do expect drivers to be moving on this road very soon. That's what it li looks like here as the police make sure that this is a drivable spot. That was not the case earlier in the morning. I want to show you what the traffic looks like though right now as you head onto the frontage road or right here along 35. This is what it looks like. It's kind of at a snarl and the reason for all these problems is because of the early morning rain we had. Let's go straight to the video here. This is what it looked like early this morning at the height of the storm when we saw the rain gushing through our area and pouring down. These are shots in the downtown area and you can see all of the rain and all the problems that it caused throughout the morning commute. Now we did talk to one driver who did get stuck and here's what she told us. So basically I was getting, you know, to work and I tried, you know, to be on time um, and I decide to be in this row because I see like I was an open row. I was no signs or anything and my car started, you know, shaking. Yeah, as you can imagine, a scary, scary moment for that woman who is okay. She was able to get out safely from her vehicle, but obviously very scary as the water came up so quickly. But again, police just checking this area out here on the frontage road at this interchange near Windcrest. And they're about to open it up to traffic so that the traffic doesn't back up as much as it has here along 35. But for now, that is the latest reporting live on the northeast side near Windcrest. I'm Christina De Leon. We'll send it back to you.
Tina, thank you. Most of the stranded vehicles have been there on the northeast side. This car nearly tipped over by the rushing water. This is off Ira Lee Road and Austin Highway. That driver did make it out safely. And check out the video sent to us by a viewer named Jennifer Thomas. Uh, this was along Austin Highway near the McNay. There was a crash there. Folks, you can see in some of the video as they get out of that vehicle knee deep as they try to exit and find a way to safety. That intersection, by the way, is a real trouble spot when it comes to rain. It's a catch all also for things like trash cans that get washed away. Those roads are covered by a good amount of fast moving water. At least they were earlier this morning and then less than a mile away or so near North New Braunfels. There was also a rescue effort here. This is video from Brightwood Place in North New Raffles Avenue. One of those cars got stuck in the water as well. The good news here, no one was hurt, but it's a reminder to make sure you don't drive into the areas where water is just simply lying there to cover the streets. And let's take a live picture right now of Transguide. Again, this is where Christina was talking about earlier. 35 is just an absolute mess, really in both directions. If you can avoid 35 north or southbound, Please do so right now. The delay, I talked to a coworker earlier, said he took two hours to get to work today coming in from Cibolo. So if you can avoid uh, 35, please do so. We'll stay on top of this. We'll update you throughout. There's another angle right there. 35 northbound on the right-hand side, 35 southbound um, on the left-hand side. But again, you can see the water, the standing water there in different spots, 35 at Salado Creek. Uh, those barriers... Uh, hopefully nobody would even go think about that. But if you see those barriers, I'll say it as cliche as it is. Turn around. Don't drown.